Why don't you give me a sign? Like the sea that leaves a trail along that shore It's not your problem, it's mine Everybody thinks that I'm okay Sometimes I think I am too I'm on the outside looking in I'm waiting for the shockwaves to begin Oh, won't you let me hold you for one time Just a rainy day In a London cafe A London cafe I didn't choose golf. It more it chose me. It was destiny. Ah, sorry! Flippin' neck. Where I come from, the only job was the shipyard. But I did have ambitions, of course. If you could do anything in the whole world, what would you do? Drink Guinness. <laughs> Pretty soon. My own dreams were put on hold. Hello and welcome to the fan carpet. I'm Anna Fenn and we are here at the UK premiere of The Phantom of the Open, ahead of its release in UK and Irish cinemas on the 18th of March. We are here tonight to talk to the cast ahead of its release of its fabulous new film. I'm so excited to speak to the cast tonight and we can't wait to share it with you. Hi Mark, so lovely to speak to you today. You're talking to the fan carpet. The fan, the carpet. fan carpet, exactly. We're all fans of yours. Um, so how are you feeling today ahead of the screening? Obviously it was shown at the, um, it was shown last year during 2021. How do you feel that people are going to see this in the cinema and actually get to enjoy it on the big oh, screen? Well, I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled. I got to know the family, you know, that have survived of Morris. And, and when you play someone, you get to know them quite well. Um, you know he's passed, but you you read a lot about him, and, and I went to places where he lived and stuff. And he, he's just a wonderful character to get to know. And I didn't know anything about him, so I'm, I'm excited that people will get to know about him through the work that we've done, which which has been careful and you know has had a good sense of humour to it. Absolutely, because you're well known for your comedy, and obviously this is such a humorous play. How do you feel you compare to Morris as a as you as Mark? Do you feel that you share his optimism, or are you more of a pessimist when it comes to life? No, I'm more of a melancholic. I'm afraid. Yeah, I wish I was more of an optimist like him, and I'm more um, affected by things that other people say. Perhaps because I'm an actor, you know, so so my my sense of who I am is a little bit more flexible um, than most people but, but the thing about Morris that was really fun to play was that he, he it doesn't matter what other people think he is or accuse him of doing he, he has a, he has a very clear sense of who he is and what's happening so even though when he scores the worst round of golf in the history of golf to him it was not a bad day he did better than he expected and if he hadn't forgot his four iron he would have done even better so you know he's he's I, I just love the sense that he didn't things that other people said about him just bounced off him like a like water off a duck and um, I wish I could be that way oh I, I think we all wish we could be that way but, yeah. you, but you play yeah. it you portray it so well um, throughout the filming who is your favorite cast member to work with Sally 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 I mean I got a lot Mark Lewis Jones is a, one of my favorite actors in the world and Reese is a wonderful actor there were lots of wonderful actors in it who I've worked with before or wanted to work with but I'd never worked with Sally before, and um, she's just magical, really magical. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know if you play tennis or you, you, you have something that you like to do with someone, uh, you, you know, that isn't in your family. It, it, when, when you like to act, and you find someone who likes the same things in acting, which she does, which is a kind of, a kind of silly childlike enjoyment of pretending to be someone other than who we are then that's a great joy and that's what she's like. She sounds amazing to work with and it sounds like you've had a really cohesive family unit on set and that even when you weren't um, filming that you acted as a family unit. Do you feel like that was important to the film that it was that you were able to improvise in between, in between scenes and really make it feel as true to the original family story as possible? Yeah, yeah, because there's a lot of technical things going on and, and um, 
pressure and this is a low budget film and it was made during first film I made during the pandemic so you, you know there was a lot of fear and mask wearing and all that stuff that, that uh, was going on it was in the autumn of the first year of the pandemic so to look in another actor's eyes and see that they completely believe the reality and have, have no they're not distracted at all as with Sally then you go oh I'm, I'm at home you know I know where I am but Craig was an actor is still an actor as well as a very wonderful director so he he helped us and encouraged us that way it's 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 different if you work with a director who was a cameraman um, or, or never never was an actor they can be very very good too and very understanding of actors but when you work with someone who's been an actor they they, they know what you're going through a little bit more firsthand it's, it's so important to have a director who knows how actors feel and can empathize and work with you. Do you think you'll work with him again? I hope so. I hope so. I think he's got a great vision for English films. You, you know, we, we both admire Ken Loach and Mike Lee and, uh, you, you, you know, and oh, oh, uh, well, then you go back to Lean and Kubrick and all the different... Uh, if I can call Kubrick, uh, I think he's an American director, actually, but he lived in England. But, but Craig's got a very unique uh, I idea of something more imaginative, more colourful, and um, I've really loved his films, been very affected by his films, so it's, it's always nice to be part of something, to get into a party that you're on the outside looking into and thinking, I want to be part of that. That's so true. Well, enjoy the screening tonight, and thank you so much for speaking to us. I'm so excited for the success of it. Good luck to you all. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching The Fan Carpet. Please follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram for more. Whatever happens, no one can say you didn't try. What a great opening drive. Have they got the real Morris Flitcroft? <laughs> oh, I think that's him. Morris Flitcroft. Severiano Ballesteros. You what? Solo llámame Seve. Oh, sí, Seve, Seve. Hasta entonces. Right, uh, yeah, uh, hasta cojones. on the largest of the Balearic Islands, Mallorca. With the turquoise waters of the Mediterranean Sea, beautiful mountainous landscape, the thriving city of Palma, quaint little market towns, a growing number of luxury hotels, it's no surprise that the likes of Audrey Hepburn and Elizabeth Taylor like to holiday here. So come and join me as I take you round Mallorca. Thank you for watching the fan carpet. If you like this video, be sure to click that thumbs up button at the bottom of your screen. And also be sure to subscribe to the fan carpet YouTube channels. They're absolutely free. That's so much fun too. Be sure to check out the official website, thefancarpet.com. Also, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to stay up to date with reviews, competitions, the latest news, and so much more.